the name of the book is John Bear Grease. It's about John Bear Grease, the legend of Minnesota's North Shore, uh, a heroic, almost mythical, legendary character that his name is synonymous with Highway 61 at many points. So it's a story about the history of the settlement of the North Shore and one character that left an indelible mark. My goal was to get past the mythology and find the real person, the real story of John Bear Grease. The book tries to uh, emphasize the family aspect of John Bear Grease. Really the story of John Bear Grease is the story of one man trying to provide for his family in very difficult conditions and taking a very difficult job in order to do that. Bear Grease is known as a mail carrier and pretty much everybody knows that he carried the mail up and down the shore and in the uh, summer months he took the mail up and down the shore by uh, sailboat. And as the mail carrier he was the only point of contact that these isolated settlements had. And it's really hard for us to, you know, to catch, catch the uh, sense of isolation that would descend upon a North Shore community in the winter uh, when you would be locked down by the winter months, uh, this uh, lake no longer navigable, and uh, nothing between you and civilization but endless miles of, uh, of untamed wilderness buried in snow. Uh, Bear Grease braved that on a weekly basis, moving back and forth uh, between uh, two harbors and Grand Marais, carrying the mail, but carrying much more than the mail, carrying human contact with the outside world. The fictional John Bear Grease we really don't know much about. We know there's a dog sled marathon named after him and uh, some North Shore apocrypha that circles around him, but the real character uh, it was a, uh, a, an intriguing, uh, inspiring man who bridged cultures. He bridged the Native American Ojibwe culture of the North Shore with the European culture that was settling the North Shore. He bridges time periods. Uh, he bridges the old world and the new world. And he literally bridged communities, isolated communities along the North Shore being the only point of contact between civilization and settlements like Beaver Bay and Grand Marais. As is often the case, uh, they say that truth is stranger than fiction. Well, um, truth is more intriguing than fiction.